Hello everyone, good day, and I'm back with a new topic now so flange bolt coupling problems now and this is actually related to torsion now so I'm getting so what is if a uh, flange bolt coupling actually it is a common connections between shafts now so just to have a figure saying so any now so if you have two shafts then this is what we call as uh, flange bolt coupling now so we have flanges can it? and it is uh, vaulted and entirely we call this as a flange bolt coupling so these are the shafts wherein they are connected with this one okay so there is a problem mentioning a flange bolt coupling consisting of six steel <coughs> mm diameter bolt which is skinny okay so this may contain several numbers of bolt no? so there is a 25 mm diameter and it is evenly distributed now in a volt uh, in a bolt circle i mean okay so the bolt circle is this one now so the circle that contains the bolt now we call that as a bolt circle so on this problem this is 300 mm diameter so that means the radius is half of that which is 150 mm now determine the torque capacity of the coupling if the allowable sharing stress in the bolt is 40 megapascal, mega newton per meter squared is also megapascal, na? Okay, so we are provided with answer. So, atong i verify how to arrive with the answer, na? Now, ang ato de ay karong sharing, no? Ang ato karong torque capacity of the coupling, na? So, will be equal to, kung ano sa atong applied, or ang atong applied torque dere so, mag-agad sa atong, sa ni? Resisting torque sa atong coupling. Okay? So, ang ato karong torque will be distributed, no? Uniformly over the different, uh, different bolt, no? So, they will carry the same amount of force, no? For example, kining uh, force, no? So, force, so, ang iya karong, <coughs> Force what that can be carried depends on the area of the area of the bolt, then multiplied with the <coughs> shearing stress. Now, so there you have the force. Now, for the resistance, for the torque resistance of this one, one bolt. Now, so that force will be multiplied with the moment arm, which is R. Now, so ang atong torque de for uh, for the entire coupling is just a product of P times R and the number of bolts will be considered. No? So, as the formula for the torque capacity, okay, so we have PRN will uh, representing your T and your P is the product of the allowable stress times the area of the bolt. Yeah. Okay, so R is the radius of the bolt circle and your N represents the number of the number of bolt in the bolt circle. Okay, so just substitute right, right, sir? Okay, okay saying so it. Allowable stress is given to be pila 40 megapascal or newton per square millimeter. No? Then the area, area of one bolt, no? so 25 mm, man, so we have pi over 4 times 25 squared. No? So we have millimeter squared multiplied with your R. Your R, ako lang ibutang of meter, para my unit will come out newton meter. Millimeter squared is already removed, correct? So we have meter, then six number of uh, bolt as mentioned in the problem. No, so with that you can calculate. So you will arrive with seventeen thousand six hundred seventy-one point forty-six newton meter. Yeah, medyo dako dako man itong answer. We can also make this kilonewton if by you divide with one thousand. So the answer can be seventeen point sixty-seven kilonewton meter. No? So, as easy as that. No? So, nag-mention lang yan po siya torsion no? or torque. No? In number 2, the problem is different with number 1 because ang atong bolt circle niya, doon nakabuok. No? So, you have two uh, bolt circles on this case. No? So, okay. A flange bolt coupling consisting of each steel 12 mm diameter. So, doon na siya pila? Eight bolts no and the diameter of which is 12 mm so pananglit kini so walo ni na sa gawas no so actually dili na mo ha basta walo ang naa sa outer no then the bolt circle is equal to 500 mm ang akong giingon nga dili mo 
as to the number of bolt because ang number of bolt there is it okay so basta na na dyan sa gawas no? the diameter of which is 500mm and there is another bolt circle composed of how many bolt kine unum na no? their cross sectional area will be the same because we have 12mm bolt diameters no for all the bolt being used at 12mm diameter now as to formula if there's only one bolt circle now so this is good as already your own sign torque capacity pero na amantay laing layer dire or another bolt circle so we can add another term now so we have p sub to for any force na dire then we have r to then sa into actually there's already a derivation of this in the notes nga akong gihatag na previously with you now but i just have to recall na now this represents strain or the shearing deformation ko no, is proportional to the radial distance so if this is the deformation there on the outer bolt circle so you can have your r1 then we also have a shearing deformation on the second bolt circle over r2 now if this is a strain strain can also be defined being stress over the modulus of rigidity because our our stress is a product of strain and modulus of rigidity so defining your strain so it is stress over the modulus of rigidity okay so atong ilisan from strain to in terms of stress and modulus of rigidity okay are you following i'm now on the second line okay na ko dire no from strain i substitute it i substitute it with stress and modulus of rigidity no but knowing our stress is also p over a okay so this is p over a then this one akong gibutang together with the denominator side no so p over a so kana gani imong a can also be associated with this expression in the denominator but since there is a simplification no to be made considering if we have to make our diameter of bolt being the same so meaning the cross sectional area of the bolt are also the same no so which means e1 and e2 appearing in this equation are just the same so we can eliminate them no now if this is made of the same material for all the bolts then we can also eliminate including your g no? now the equation holds true kon kanisya kon ang atong sa to diameter sa bolt dili magpareho or made of the same material so you can use this pero this is a condition wherein the sizes of the bolt used are the same or the diameters of the bolt are the same and including the material used for the bolt so instead of having this a ratio of strain over the radial distances no? so we can just have force no? then over radial distance so P1 is to R1 then is equal to P2 over R2 now in order to use this formula so dapat you know the p1 and p2 actually p1 and p2 ha, are not of the same value because if you look at this diagram the p1 at the outer part now is much bigger compared to this and this is actually changing now linearly as if nagpurma kag triangle so if p1 is to r1 p2 is to r2 more like ratio and proportion right so P1 with the core uh, P1 with the R1 then we have the corresponding side of P2 is to R2. Now in finding your P1 you have to start with the outer no so outer man siya, outer bolt man siya, no so consider the load resisting capacity of an outer bolt and we call that as P1 eh? it's at R1 eh? sorry that is P1 okay okay so P1 ha eh? not R1 I'm sorry so this is the load resisting capacity of the outer bolt p1 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 no okay p1 ako nang ibalik balik eh? that's p1 okay so next how to get your p2 your p2 can be taken out from this ratio because our bolt are the same tag 12 mm diameter and it is made of the same material still no so we are now ready to use this so p1 is to r1 then p2 is to r2 now so what's your p1 here p1 is to 340 pi the r1 is if that is 500 mm diameter so that means this is 250 half na okay so that is 
of the same unit, dire, half man sa pila, 350. So, I have 175. No? So, we are after for Pito. Pito will come out if you evaluate out from this one. So, your Pito is 1638 pi Newton. Ha? So, this is what I've said. The P1 and Pito were not of the same value or are not of the same value. Once you have this, so you can now go with the torque capacity for the coupling. No? Okay. That's the formula. P1 R1 in 1. Okay. Then P2 plus P2 R2 into. So, 2340 pi, that one, times what is the radius R1, outer radius, 500, it's half. No? Uh, so, if this is expressed in what unit? Newton meter. Okay. So, the answer can be Newton meter. No? Actually, you can have this as mm. So, the answer can be Newton millimeter. Right? But, Ako na lang ibutag meter daan para di kayo dag kong value at tumarive dere. Okay, so we have point 0.250. Number of, bo, uh, number of volt in the outer volt circle. There are 8 daan. Okay, so times 8 plus P2. Okay, just substitute. Na? P2 dere. Then R2 is half of 350. Okay, 175 mm divided by 1000 is point 0.175 meter. The number of volt dere. Inside... Or inner bolt circle, there are six bolts, no? Bo a bolt, then we can have this as the value. The unit is Newton meter, wherein po ito ako ibutang o kilo Newton meter. Okay? So, those are the two cases, no? Wherein we have a single bolt circle. The other one, you have two layers of bolt circle. Okay? Now, third. There is a flange bolt coupling used to connect a solid shaft. 90 mm diameter to a hollow shaft whose outside diameter is 100 mm and inside diameter is 90 mm. If the allowable shearing in the shaft and in the bolt is 60 MPa, how many 10 mm diameter steel bolt must be used in a 200 mm diameter bolt circle so that the coupling will be as strong as the weaker self. No? So this is how your figure look like. No? Okay, so do I answer? 9 volts ko no? Okay, ngine. This is the solid self with a diameter of 90 mm. No? This is the hollow self. Outer diameter is 100 mm. The inner diameter is 90. So, gana, 90 na no? Okay, and this is your coupling. Pangutana, how many... 10 mm steel bolt will be used no in your coupling here the bolt circle diha in your coupling has a diameter of below man 200 mm okay now condition dapat the torque capacity of the coupling will be based on the weaker torque capacity between or the weaker shaft no so sa ato pa you have to identify what is the torque capacity for solid and for the hollow no so it must be based from the weaker because if you will be basing it from the stronger shaft then what will happen so if the torque is applied anya this is stronger or as strong as the stronger shaft no so sa ato pa if imo huwaton ang torque na maabot up to the capacity of the stronger shaft, then it is the weaker shaft which will be damaged first. No? So, if the design will be considered, so the coupling will be designed no? where its strength will be the same as the weaker shaft. No? So, I have to determine what are the torque capacity of its shaft. Okay, so <coughs> let's go to the torsion formula and solid and hollow shaft no so i hope it's still fresh in your mind no ganin ang buntag at umuntong gidis ka said no okay so i may start with the torque capacity in the shaft no so we have the solid shaft pananglit the formula for uh, for the maximum shearing stress is equal to uh, 16 t no because we are given an allowable shearing stress no Okay, so 60 over pi d cube. No? Okay, let us substitute the value. We are given 60 megapascal. And that's equal to 16 t. Torque is what we need. Eh? Then we have pi. What is the diameter? 90 mm cube. No? Okay, so there we have a value. We have 8 million. No? 5,828.917 
newton millimeter. Okay? So, yan na lang. Anyway, we have to identify what would be the smaller value of our torque. No? And that would be the torque proud from the weaker shaft. No? Then, we can have the hollow shaft. Formula. Okay? Is my term na formula correct? Na? Okay. So, we have 16 TD. Pi. Then, D to the fourth power minus. This is the outer diameter. And we have the inner diameter. Okay? Then, you can have the value substituted. No? Then, we have the Newton and mm or Newton in millimeter squared. So, my unit of length is in millimeter. Okay? So, 60 Newton per square millimeter. This is 16T. This is pila 100 mm for the outside diameter. Then, pi. This is D to the fourth power. 100 minus the outer. Minus 90 to the fourth power. This is millimeter to what power? Fourth power. This becomes cube, right? And if this is multiplied here, this is over millimeter squared, so the unit will now come out as newton millimeter. The value of this is only 4 million, that is 8 million. So, sa ato pa, this is smaller. And if this is smaller, sa ato pa, it carries a lesser amount. It can carry only a lesser amount of load or torque. Meaning, this is the weaker shaft is the hollow shaft. Okay? Now, you can use this as the torque no, for your coupling. Okay, so there is only one volt circle. What's the formula? T is equal to PRN, right? Okay, so that's itong gamitan. The number of volts in the coupling. I take it as N. Okay, so this is the torque <coughs> capacity equal to PRN. And my P is allowable stress area multiplied with the radius of the bolt circle then the number of bolt okay so we have the value for your t out from the weaker shaft now then we have the allowable stress and we have the area now pi d squared that's 10 squared over 4 okay so this is the force now then what is your radius if the diameter is 200 mm so meaning the radius is 100 mm okay then we have n so, this is eliminated. Eliminated. So, my unit of mm is also out. And my unit of newton is also removed. So, this is representing the number of volts. 8.6 volt. Pero, we cannot take a fraction of the volt. So, we can make it 9 volts as volt as answer. Okay? So, that is the prob uh, that is the application. Or, those are the deeper, uh, different problem. And a flange bolt coupling. Okay, so thank you and goodbye.